we've already met the two of us. Remember? In fact, we've been together every single day. We've been there when you needed to chill out. And there when you need to warm up. We were there when you were short on time. And there for your more <coughs> private moment. Now that you know the brands, get to know the people behind them. So just introduce yourselves, tell me your purpose, and tell me what you're passionate about the employer brand. So just to introduce the team, um, we're based in Leatherhead, uh, or most of us are based in Leatherhead, yes. and uh, we form part of the UK and Ireland's Early Careers team, which nice. is focused upon uh, graduate talent, apprenticeships, and youth employability. Super. Um, just to introduce myself, my name's Olivia. Um, I recently graduated off the UFLP programme in HR, yes. which is yes. exciting, um, and I specifically look after the graduate and placement programmes in the UK and Ireland. Um, my purpose is be the guiding light, which illuminates in all directions and enables all to shine. Excellent. <laughs> it's based upon a lighthouse. <laughs> Love it. Did you grow up where there was a lighthouse? No, no. I just like the idea of providing direction and being like a big positive energy. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm Grace, I'm a graduate talent specialist, so I look after the end-to-end -end process for all of our grads and interns, but then I've also just graduated off an apprenticeship. Um, so my purpose is helping people climb trees to see the view. So it's all about kind of supporting people to get to where they want and always being that kind of person that they can lean on. And Super. Yeah. I'm Jack. Um, I'm eight months into my industrial placement here. Yeah, so I've got, I uh, yeah, got another four months left. Um, and yeah, so I'm based um, half in the global EB team and half in the UK and Ireland EB team as well. Um, so you get the best of both worlds. I do, I do. I give them the global tips as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, my purpose um, is to be the consistent engine that drives our goals to the finish line. Nice. Um, so finish line, I love my running. Um, and also, I'm quite disciplined um, as well. That makes well. two of us, yeah. I run. <laughs> oh, brilliant. There we go. It's something cool. But yeah, so um, yeah, that's a bit about me. Super. Fantastic. And uh, I'm Pang. And I'm leading employee branding in the UK. So I'm passionate in talent development, yes. and that's what I really like in my job. And uh, I think it's, it's interesting to say that, you know, uh, our team has been created by, uh, yeah, to reflect the target audience. Yes. So coming from different backgrounds and uh, with different perspectives, so we, we complement each other, nice. and together we do things better. What are the kind of opportunities are, are external talent is looking for. You know, a little bit of what you said triggered me. You know, just as once upon a time, the consumer had one or two channels to buy products. Yeah. Now they have a multitude of channels, online, offline, supermarket, delivered to your doorstep, God knows what. There's so many ways. So the route to market of how we deliver our products, how we fulfill consumers has changed. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the route to market of how we go to talent and how talent comes to us has changed. Earlier it was one channel, two channel. Now there are a multitude of channels, like you say. Yeah. So tell me, what are external talent looking for in terms of employment opportunities, in terms of the companies to look for? What's your sense? So in terms of external talent, we found that people want to match their uh, values and their aspirations with yeah. their prospective employers. So um, through our research, we found that students um, really look for uh, big training and development opportunities within the company, um, as well as a competitive salary, um, and also great workplace benefits as well. And now I know firsthand from being here as a, as a student at Unilever <laughs> um, that you know we put a lot of uh, faith in youth yes. um, and give them a lot of responsibility and accountability. Yeah. Uh, I think right now young people they are growing up uh, yeah. in you know explosion of technology, yeah. and by just you know few clicks on the screen they have instant access to what's going on in a, uh, I mean yeah. around the globe and and they don't and they don't stand still they want to take action and many young people they uh, they are devoting their time to to contribute to some charitable activities uh, some sustain, uh, sustainable projects yeah. uh, many even go out to the street you know to raise their voice and have their voice heard so back to employment I think um, young people they uh, according to many research and also my conversation, I think yes. uh, young people, they really want to work for the company where they can uh, leave their personal value, they can do something good yeah. and they can make a positive impact to wider community. Yeah. We are running the competition. Yeah. I, I think you, you want to mention about us, so we are running a competition for students. Yeah. And in the competition, we ask students to submit, you know, 
the photo and a story about what they have done mm. to make a better world, better business, uh, better you. And uh, we received so many, um, you know, great stories. So wow. some say about, you know, they volunteer a few summers in some country just to help, uh, you know, to teach yeah. the children in those places. And because they, they believe that education is the only thing that brings yeah. uh, people out of poverty yeah. and can reach, you know, something, a brighter uh, future. So, I mean, many, many great stories. Yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Good to hear. So what differentiates you, Naliva? What do you think is our strength and what differentiates us? So I think uh, if I answer this, I think the first one is like the resource. Yeah. So I think if you ask for us to deliver the massive like EB agenda, for example, that's impossible <laughs> because anyway, we're up ahead. It. But if you look at it this way, uh, like Grace, she had, you know, uh, the network with her apprentice, uh, I mean, with the colleagues on apprenticeship scheme, yeah. uh, Jack with his, like, uh, intern fellows, yes. uh, Olivia with uh, her, you know, Yebo yeah. So let's say all of them, they have the insight and yeah. they uh, of the target audience and they're willing to give a helping hand. And uh, for me, I think uh, employer branding is something similar to marketing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. in our company, marketing, uh, they are so advanced and we can definitely learn from them. So if you look at it that way, you say that we have so many resources that we can leverage to do amazing stuff. Yeah. So that's uh, the first thing. Externally, I think uh, many people, they want to work for, I mean, based on the research, yeah. many people, they want to work for national or international companies. Yeah. And many young people, they want to work in London. Yeah. So we have like three global and local head office, so that's a great advantage. Um, and uh, young people, they also associate Unilever to what they are looking for in a company. Yeah. And that's really good. And, uh, but for me, the most important thing is the purpose driven. And I think that's our unique uh, DNA. Yes. So we, we are not only talking to our employees, we are not only encouraging our people to lift their value, but at the same time, we are communicating externally uh, through our sustainable living plan. And we encourage, we invite people to mm -hmm. together with, uh, with us, uh, make a better business, a better world, a better you. One of the things that we do quite well, um, well Unilever do quite well, is that we try to offer opportunities for individuals at different stages, both out their academic and their professional lives. So whether you're a school student, whether you're an undergraduate like Jack, whether you're um, a postgraduate, or whether you're not in, employed or in education. And I think we try to be as inclusive as possible yeah. um, and help people take that first step into employment. Yes. Um, obviously that's quite a big ambition um, and we can't do it alone. So we have a number of really strong partnerships in the UK that help us achieve that ambition. So if I think of one um, which I'm really closely related to, which is Upreach. Mm -hmm. um, Upreach are essentially a UK-based charity that help people from less advantaged backgrounds transition into employment and receive top graduate jobs. So what is the best way to reach the youth in your experience? So we use a multitude of different channels as, because, as you know, maybe using you know one channel isn't the best approach, especially yeah. within this market yeah. where um, social and, and digital is gaining such yes. prominence. Um, so, for example, some people may use Facebook, some yeah. may use Instagram, some people search for jobs via Google, or yeah. some use uh, local job boards as well. Um, so, really a plethora of, of different communicative uh, channels. So, we need to make sure that we're looking at these user, user journeys and yes. that we're hitting them um, at different touch points. Um, yeah. and we need to decide where and how we do that. Yeah. Um, but we can't underestimate the importance of you know face-to-face -face interactions as well because as you know um, especially for early talent this is such a crucial time for them and a very important decision to make especially going into first employment yeah. so they often consult people close to them so yeah. parents peers uh, yeah. lecturers tutors or even people within uh, certain workplaces of interest so um, we need to make sure as Unilever we're yeah. providing them with the you know, best information that we can, which will help them to make that, you know, first, issue, first decision. I think from an information perspective, yeah. we, particularly around our peak, peak recruitment time, sort of September to uh, November, we go out on campus a lot, so all different university campuses, to talk to students and provide them with information. And one of the things that we recognised was, despite students knowing all our lovely brands, Ben & Jerry's, Magnum, yes. Simple, mm. PG Tips, you name it, they know it, yeah. they don't always associate them with Unilever's brand. 
Um, and this is kind of one of the reasons why we came up with the idea of Unilever Unpacked as a campaign, because essentially what we wanted to do was unpack the stories of people behind the brands, which is behind Unilever. Nice. Um, and we did this just by telling real stories from the real people. So what motivated you to apply to Unilever? How did you find the selection process? Are we fulfilling your career aspirations now? And I think there's a saying that Tang always tells us, which really sticks <laughs> in my mind. I'm probably going to forget it. Um, but people will forget what you say and they'll forget what you did, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Um, and a I very think, important one. Exactly. And I think by telling the real story, students can relate to that and start to connect with what would life be like at Unilever. Nice. So what's your one piece of advice for me in my role? What's the one piece of advice you would have for me? I want to hear all of you. I think given your, your role is so big, <laughs> you know, it's HR across Thank the you. globe. I love the empathy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm hardworking. Thank you. <laughs> I think that every market is very different. Yes. Uh, and I think it's about how do you connect to the local markets and find the local insights so that you're delivering relevant campaigns and programs. That's great advice. Be sure in all the 190 markets, <laughs> yes. it's not one size fits all. Yes. Do what's relevant locally. Yeah. yeah great. Right. I think also a massive thing is all about awareness. Mm. I feel like a lot of people, especially at younger ages, don't realise all the different opportunities that, that are out in the market and they don't know the different ways that they can get into companies and yes. it's not always about university now. Yeah. And I think it's so, so important for at a young age, even though maybe they won't know exactly what they want to do, but for them to understand there's different opportunities I just think the starting steps is always the kind of most important part. To raising awareness. Yeah. Very good. And I think um, as well that giving the external talent market um, a real organic insight into what work life is like, especially at, at Unilever, I think it really helps to paint a picture in their mind of what that first step into employment looks like. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that's probably the piece of advice, just to make sure... <laughs> How was it for you? What for was me? the one thing you learned that you were surprised by? <laughs> How much responsibility I've been given from day one, from day one. Um, You're making you work too hard, no, are you? No, not, too, <laughs> not at all, but I, I hear stories from some people who go into placements and they're not really living a purpose day to day and they're not given the, you know, the opportunity to actually flourish. The sense and, of responsibility. Exactly, and I've had that from day one here and I think that, as going back to differentiators, that's really what does differentiate us as, a, as an employer of um, young talent. Fantastic. What's your advice for me? So, for me, um, I, I often listen to your presentation, awesome, inspiring speech, in different occasions. And I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping somebody's listening. <laughs> to be honest, I, I think that's really inspiring, and I learned something from you, like, you know, it is to be, it's up to me. Yes, yeah. One of your yes. sentences, I think that's really inspiring. So, I think... Uh, I know that you are very bu very busy, but uh, if possible, keep, you know, uh, spend uh, some time out of your busy schedule just to engage with, you know, not only internal people, but maybe external people through different platforms. So, yeah, give some, uh, you know, inspiring speech, say your personal experience, uh, experience yeah. and be somebody that other people look up to and, you know, get inspired from. So, yeah, I mean, from your story, many, may, uh, many people will will be inspired and I think that they will do something really good. Thank yeah. you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> yes, I, I have to inspire internally and inspire externally. <laughs> Thank you for enhancing my job description. <laughs> but good fun. No, I fully agree with you. I think in all these roles, you have the responsibility to yeah. inspire us and influence as many people as you can because these platforms are so special. Yeah. You leave us yeah. such great respect in the world that I feel a sense of responsibility to do more. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Suba, lovely talking to you. Thank, thank you. you. So yeah, thank you so much for helping me learn with you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you so thank much. you very much, yeah. Lena.